Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to gather and view statistics for audio and video calls on the Avaya Desktop Video Device Release 1.1 and higher. The first thing we need to do is from your Avaya Desktop Video Device or ADVD, we need to activate the generation of audio and video statistics. For that, we look on the Applications fan at the menu option that says Settings. Then under the Settings menu, we need to go to the Administrator menu. We click the Administrator options, and the default password here is 27238. Once we enter that, we need to look for the third option down in this menu that says Debug. Under the Debug option is where you'll find the Audio Video Quality Statistics Generation. This option needs to be turned on in order for your device to generate audio or video statistics. We'll make sure that that's turned on for our device here. The other option we want to check is the SSH server settings. We want to make sure that that SSH server is enabled for this device so that we can connect to it and download the statistics logs for both audio and video. And as you can see, that is enabled here on this device. Now we're ready to place a call and check the statistics. So let's call one of our other neighbor devices here, 1400151. This will be just an audio only call, but it will give you some idea where you can go and what you will see for the statistics of each call. First, what we'll do is look at the real time statistics for our call. That can be found under the Settings menu option under the Applications fan on the left. Once we click that, we'll see an option that says Call Settings. The Call Settings option is where you will find the audio and video statistics for your current call. You'll notice there the second option down is Audio and Video Quality Statistics. Once we select that, we'll find a display of two categories of statistics. The first listed there is for audio. We find our packet loss, jitter, one-way network delay, and even our codec that's being used for this call. Below that we have a second category, which is video statistics. We see similar statistics for the network conditions there, packet loss, jitter, one-way delay. But then below that we also find video coding, which is our video codec being used for the call. Below that we'll find the resolution that's being used for the call. And if we scroll down, we also see the frame rate as well as bit rate being used for this video call, if there were one established. Now these statistics are generated at five second intervals while a call is active. So when there is no active call, as you see with the video statistics here, you'll find the marker no call inserted for each of those items. And that is a normal condition when there is no call of that type established on the device. And that's it for real-time statistics, but let's look now at how you can gather a historical log of video and audio statistics from your device. We're going to access our device via SSH to collect the video and audio statistics logs files. And in order to do that, we need to know what the IP address for our device is. So to get the IP address for your device, you first want to find the networking icon in the upper right hand corner of the GUI. And if you touch that with your finger, it will pop down the little menu there that shows you your IP address. And so that's the IP address that you want to connect to using your SSH client. Now you should be ready to connect to your device using your SSH client. So I'll be using a Linux-based SSH client for the purposes of this demonstration, and I'm going to connect to the craft user at the IP address of our ADVD. The password is what I specified previously when I enabled the SSH service, and now I'm at the shell command line for my ADVD. All of the statistics logs are in the directory that you see on the screen, the Media Control Service Files directory. Now if we list the contents of our directory, you'll notice that there are several different files listed there. What we'd like to do is take a few moments to just describe the contents of each file and the files that might be most interesting for you. In this Media Control Service Files directory, we find 
five different log files that contain video and audio statistic information for our calls. Two of those files show real-time statistics for the active video call. That is the audio call stats.txt and the video call stats.txt files. The next two logs are the audio history log and the video history log. Those are a history log of the five second snapshots for all video calls or all audio calls, depending on the file, in that device since the audio and video statistics generation was, was activated. And then lastly is the video log.txt file. This again is a video history log, which includes the five second snapshots for all video calls, but it also contains some debug information for the video card itself in the device. Typically, the most useful log files for any user or technician who's debugging a problem would be the audio and video history log.txt files because those show you a historical view of the five second snapshots for your audio and video statistics. And all of these files are collectible via SSH or ADB. And what I'm going to demonstrate for you now is how to collect those files via SSH using a method called secure copy, otherwise abbreviated as SCP. Again, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be using a Linux-based SCP client. And as you can see from the command line there, the structure is very similar to what we did with SSH. I'm specifying the IP address of the ADVD, which has SSH enabled. I'm using craft as the username. And then I'm placing the path to the actual file that I want to transfer back to my PC. Now another thing you'll notice is that I'm prompted for the craft password. After I enter that password, the file is very quickly transferred to my local PC. Now let's take a quick look at the contents of the audio history log file. You'll notice that this contains similar statistics to what we saw in the GUI for the real-time statistics, but here we see each five second snapshot from our call. And for each five second snapshot, we get the codec for that call, the incoming loss rate for the last five seconds, the number of lost packets, the number of milliseconds for the delay, the round trip delay for the packets, the total number of transmitted packets and the number of bytes as well as received number of packets and bytes. And then lastly there we find the incoming jitter. Now for a video call we would additionally get to see the codec, the resolution, and the bit rate used for the video call as well. It's important to realize that some of these values you see for each five second snapshot are actually cumulative for the entire call. So for example, the number of lost packets, the number of transmitted and received packets or bytes, those are all cumulative totals for the entire call. However, other items such as the incoming loss rate, the round trip delay and the incoming jitter, those are specific to an average over each five second snapshot. And that's all there is to collecting statistics from the ADVD. We thank you for your time today, and we hope this information was useful. As always, we welcome your questions, comments, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.